Ever since I made the move from the US to South Korea, I've been working from all over Seoul in all kinds of cafes and coffee shops and to be honest, it's been awesome. Since I'm moving around so much and it's been really hot here during the summer, I just reorganized my backpack and packed as light as possible. So I thought it was a perfect time to show you guys my everyday carry tech for the very first time and maybe it can help you with your carry. If you guys are interested in any of the items I show in this video, all the links are down below in the description. Before I get to the backpack, here's what's on me and in my pockets almost all the time. Of course, my phone, which is currently the Google Pixel 7 Pro with a Spigen liquid air case. I still really like the phone, especially the design and the display, but I'm looking to upgrade to something a little more interesting soon and want some improvement in battery life, so stay tuned for that. Kind of the same story with my Google Pixel watch, which I have on my wrist almost every day. I even bought some new third-party bands for it that are on the way, but the battery here is also pretty lacking and it's just too expensive for what it is, so yeah, looking to upgrade here too in the upcoming months. Also in my pockets is the Herschel Charlie wallet. I only carry a couple cards with me, maybe one to two cash bills, so a card wallet or holder is perfect for me. I personally don't really like it when my wallet takes up too much space in my pocket. Okay, now onto the backpack. This is the Xiaomi Commuter Backpack, which I purchased for just about $17 USD here in Korea. Awesome deal for a slim, minimal backpack from a major brand that actually looks nice. I carry this basically every single day to go to work or even to places on my off days too. Like I said, I want to pack light, so the slim form factor is perfect for me. The lightweight fabric is water resistant all around, including the comfortable shoulder straps, and even after almost a year of heavy use, there's not much signs of wear and tear. Plus, on the back and the underside of the straps is a perforated design that lets the bag breathe a little bit through these little holes so your back doesn't get as hot. There's even a little strap there to slide onto luggage handles when you're traveling. On the side, there's two non-slip side pockets, one for water bottles and one for an umbrella. Now, this is a secret, but there's also a hidden anti-theft pocket for your phone or another small item. The handle at the top is the same material as a strap, so it's comfortable to hold it like this too. The zippers are also really easy to zip up and down and hasn't gone stuck on me so far. All these little details make it really comfy to carry for all kinds of situations, and I appreciate that for such an affordable item. Then moving on to what's actually inside, in the front pocket here, I like to keep things I need quick in and out. So definitely got my earbuds in here, my employee badge for entering the office, and some stamp cards for cafes or restaurants I go to often. The earbuds are the Soundcore Liberty 4s, my absolute favorite true wireless earbuds that I've tried so far. Pretty essential for all my daily commutes for the noise cancellation, the fantastic battery life, and probably the biggest thing for me is the multi-point connection to all my devices, which works really well through the Soundcore app. Then in the front compartment, I like to keep all my self-care stuff here that I may need when I'm outside. In the inside pockets, I got some hand lotion, hand sanitizer, and some lip balm. And just in case, I got some medical ointments and a bandage too. Outside of the pockets, I just have some tissues and a spare KF94 mask. Then finally, the most important part, the main compartment. There is a padded pocket for up to a 16-inch laptop. I got my base M1 MacBook Air in here during personal days. Then during the weekdays, it's my work laptop in here, which is the M1 MacBook Pro. If you haven't watched my video on it, I made the switch from Windows to Mac earlier this year and it's actually been a really nice experience. I basically do all my personal and YouTube work on the base M1 MacBook Air and I don't feel like I need to upgrade at all. I almost think Apple made a mistake for themselves making the M1 too good. Of course, for all this tech, I need to carry around some cables and I put them all in this Vixo digital pouch. I'm able to fit in my 61 watt MacBook Pro charger, the USB-C to USB-C cable, a USB-A to USB-C cable, a little USB-A to USB-C adapter, and an old but transparent 16 gig flash drive. It's a bit of a tight fit, but it fits all my just-in-case essentials. Then in this little inner bottom pocket is my portable power bank. This is the Anchor Power Core Essential, and it's got a ton of juice with 20,000 milliamp hours. We bought this a couple years ago, so it's a little outdated. It charges itself with a USB-C port, but it doesn't charge other devices using the USB-C. This is the main reason I carry around that USB-A to USB-C cable. But right now, it's not a huge inconvenience, and I rarely ever have to recharge this thing. Maybe it's just me, but I also always carry around a classic thin folder just in case I have to carry or receive any documents that I don't want wrinkled. Plus a simple pencil case from Muji just in case I need to fill in a document or sign something. To top it all off, I have two tags in this bag, a Samsung Galaxy Smart Tag and an Apple Air Tag to locate this bag if I lose it anywhere. I carry one of each so I can locate it with the Galaxy Smart Tag and my wife can find it with the Air Tag. So that's what's in my everyday carry. I can see myself changing around a lot of the items in here over the next couple of months, but this will do for now. Again, all the links for these items are down below in the description box. Let me know in the comments what you guys are carrying in your everyday tech, and maybe I can get some inspos too. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more tech content like this coming every week or so, and I'll see you guys on the next video.